Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be making this really easy and cute floor poof using fabric scraps for stuffing because my fabric scrap pile has definitely gotten out of hand. Anyway, I'll be using some woven fabric that I picked up at the thrift store. You'll also need some fabric or bias tape for the ribbing around the top and bottom if you choose to add it. I'm using an old curtain for mine. You'll need one circle of each fabric. I'm using the base of my fan to make the circles here. You can use whatever you have handy or just wing it. I'm going to quarter these circles. So first I fold it in half, make a mark and cut. Then I fold each of these pieces in half again and cut. I want the diameter of my circle and the height of my poof to be the same, so I took this measurement. I'm also taking the measurement of one of the quarter pieces so I can make the width of the base the same. I'm cutting out my base pieces now. You'll need two of each fabric. We're going to start with the top and bottom. Sew the quarter pieces together to make half circles using a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance and finish the raw edges with a zigzag stitch to prevent fraying. I press the seams to opposite sides to prevent bulk. Sew these two pieces together making sure to match up the middle. Iron it out and hopefully you have a nice crisp circle. If you're making your own bias tape, this will just be a super quick tutorial on how to do that. I cut 2 inches in on the bias of the fabric to make these strips. I then pinned these strips together at 90 degree angles. Sew these pieces together so that when you fold the piece flat it makes one big long strip. Cut the excess fabric off and press the seams open. Now fold the tape in half and iron. Open this up and fold both sides into the middle and iron. Now fold along the crease and iron this flat. You'll need to add upholstery cord to the bias tape. Make sure this is flush with the inside middle of the tape and sew as close to the cord as you can. You can use a basting stitch here. Finish the raw edges of your circle using a zigzag stitch. Now pin the ribbing to the circles. The side with the cord inside you will want to have pressed towards the middle of the circle. Fold one of the ends over the other to give it a clean finish. Sew this together. Make sure you take your time here. We're going to move on to the base here. Finish all the raw edges on your base pieces with a zigzag stitch before sewing them together. I'm adding a zipper in between two of the base pieces. First sew a 5 8 of an inch seam and iron this open. Pin the zipper in place and sew it in. Pin the remaining sides together and sew using a regular straight stitch and a 5 8 of an inch seam allowance.
Pin all of these seams open and pin one of the circle pieces to the opening, matching up the fabric. Sew together, be mindful of the binding and make sure you stitch over the previous stitches. Open the zipper before sewing the next circle on. This will save you a lot of trouble. You'll want to hand sew the area around your zipper. Turn the bag inside out and start stuffing. 